Hello, this is Yisachar Friend. Uh, uh, perhaps some of you remember me from my previous trip to South Africa, and I must tell you that other than Eretz Yisrael, South Africa is the fa my favorite foreign country that I visit. And I remember fondly uh, being there and speaking there and the warm reception that I received and the people that I met. And uh, unfortunately, South Africa is not any closer the United States that it was, and jet travel is not any faster than it was. <laughs> Therefore, the trip remains a long and arduous journey, but at least uh, I can share some thoughts with you via modern technology. Um, so I understand that you are learning uh, the Dirsha Mishnabur program, and uh, I must tell you that uh, when, I, uh, when the new cycle started, I also began, I think I'm a couple days behind, but basically trying to keep up, and it's, it's a wonderful program. So the uh, Mishnabur, in the Hagdama to the Mishnabur, which is worthwhile for everyone to see, the Mishnabur only wrote two Hagdamas, one to the first Chelech HaMishnabur, and one to the third Chelech HaMishnabur, Hilo Shabbos, but in the original, the original preface, Hakdama, the Mishnah Bura writes as follows. I'm reading you from his text. The Mishnah Bura writes, in, spa, in spite of the fact that anything that a person learns, even the most obscure and the most, uh, let us say, not negea, is a Mekayim Mitzvah of Talmud Taira, even Kachim and Tyrus, which unfortunately Bismanenu is not Negea, says the Mishnah Bura, Mikol Mokayim, Iker Limud Ha'odam Tzorach Liyais Belimud Hamei Vilidei Maisa. The Mishnah Bura makes a very, very strong statement, and that a person's main learning is Iker Limud, should be in the things that are Mei Vilidei Maisa, you should learn those things that are Hal, that may be Halochal Maisa. And to, and to wit, the Mishtabur marshals the following Gemara. While Kain Omer Chazal, so Gemara in Brachis Tavches, Oyev Hashem Sharei Tzion Mikol Mishkanes Yaakov. It's a posik. So the Gemara Darshans, Oyev Hashem Sha'orim HaMutsiyonim Bahalocha Yaisem Ibotek Nesiyais Ubotem Midrash Shabi Yaakov. That we banish from loves in those places in which Halacha Lamais has learned even more than he loves the Bata Knesias and the Bata Midrashais should be Yaakov. So the Marsha on that Gemara in Brochus Davches points out and he says that, uh, that in, in spite of the fact that those Bata Knesias and Bata Midrashais are chock full of people that are in fact learning. But nevertheless, says the Mishnah Bura, Says, says the Marsha, what he loves most is the Shor Mitzuyan and Bahalocha, the place where Talmide Chachamim gather to sit and to learn and to be Masik Shmaitza Ali Bede Hilchasa. With this in mind, the Marsha goes on to explain the next line of the Gemara. The Gemara, after the Gemara makes this statement that the Menashon loves the Shor Mitzuyan and Bahalocha, he loves the place where Halacha Lamais is learned even more than the Bata Midrashas, where general learning is learned. Says the Gemara, V'hainu dom Rabchi Omar Barami Mishmeda Ula, Miyayim Shecharav Beis HaMikdash, Ein Leila HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Ba'ilama Yala Dalad Amashal Halacha Bavad. The Gemara makes the statement that once the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed, the Rebbe Shalom's place in the world, so to speak, even though he's Malay Khalarz Kavaidai. But nevertheless the place is the place of his abode is Ain Laila Khadish Barhu Bailamai El Dadalama Shah Halacha. So the Marsha explains that when the Bais Hamigdash was Kayam, was the Mesh Hamigdash was around, the Sanhedrin sat in the Bais Hamigdash in a place called the Lishka Sagazis. And that's where they pask in the Shilas. And Misham Yitzah Harali Yisrael, and that's where the halacha was determined. Says the Gemara that of, in, of the entire base Amigdash, this is what the Marshal learns the Gemara, the place that was most chaviv to the Banisham in the base Amigdash itself was the Lishchas Hagazis, that the, where the Talmidic Chachamim 
went ahead and were kaveh the halacha. And that is, in fact, what the Gemara is now saying to us. Because what happened when Samigdash was destroyed? There is no more Beis Samigdash. And there is no more Lishchus HaGazis. And there is no Sanhedrin sitting in the Beis Samigdash. Says the Gemara, says the Marsha, that's what the Gemara means. That today that there is no Beis Samigdash, and as a result of that, there is no Lishchus HaGazis, the, the place where the Ibn Islam is his favorite place on the world, is the Shar Mitzvah Nebuch where people sit and they learn Halach Lamaisa and they convey what to do Halach Lamaisa. You know, the Panovich Arov is Eretz Adek Livrocha, who to people in South Africa is no stranger because he had been there many times and the influence that he had in the Jews of South Africa is still, is still reverberating out of Yem as a, the Panovich Arov said that one could learn the Gemara that when the Beis Hamikdash was destroyed, so Nebuchadnezzar ben Islam had no place to go. So he settled. He says, okay, fine, I have no place to go. I'll go to the Shar Mitzvah and Bahalacha. Says the Panav Rosh, and that's not the Pshat. The ben Islam didn't settle for anything. When there's a base, Amigdash, his favorite place was the Lishus HaGazas because that's where Halacha Lamais is learned. And today, where Halacha Lamais is learned, it's the same Kaviyachal almost as the Lishchus HaGazas. He didn't settle at all. He just changed the venue of where the Halach Lamais was learned then to where it is learned now. And that's because Chavi ein lala Kodesh Baruch Amashal Halacha. You know, when Rav Sadiagain, who lived in Egypt, and he was appointed to become the Rashiva in Sura, Sura in Pumpadisa, in Bavel, it was today it was Babylonia. Today is Iraq. So, so he became the Rashiva, and he was about to leave Egypt. And as is the unfortunate task of all Rosh Hashivas, he had to raise money. So he went to a wealthy individual in Egypt, and he said, "I'd like uh, to ask you uh, for a nedava, for a donation for the yeshiva that I'm going to head in Sura, in Babylonia, in Bavel." So the wealthy man, yes, agreed, but he says, I'd like that the Oren Kaidish in your yeshiva be dedicated in my name. And the Rasad Yigoyen said, yes, fine. He left Egypt, travels to Babylonia, travels to the yeshiva, comes into the base medrash, and lo and behold, he discovers that the Oren Kaidish is already dedicated. So now what does he do? Does he return the money? Does he try to does he try to give him something else? What does he do? So Sad Yagon wrote back to the man, he says, the Oren Kaidish is already dedicated. But the Oren Kaidish is the place where the Teresh Shebichsav is kept. But where is the place where the Teresh Shebaal is kept? Where is the place of the Teresh Shebaal So Sad Yagon says, the shtender that a Yeshiva Bukhar learns at, the table that a yeshiva bocher sits by. That is the Oren Kaidish of the Teresh Peh. And therefore, you don't need the Oren Kaidish that holds the Teresh Shabbat the Torah scrolls. You donate money to a yeshiva, so wherever you're making it, you're facilitating a bocher to be able to sit and learn, that's the Oren Kaidish of the Teresh Shabbat So in that sense, we can understand this marsha that when the Beis Hamidish was destroyed, so there was a new makam in which the Halach Lamais is determined. And that place is wherever Talmidi Chachamim and people gather to learn Shmaitz Aliba de Ilchasa, that is the place where, in fact, that's the Ein Loila Kadish Borchai Dalanamashal Halacha. So when you sit down and learn Bachabura and you learn the Mishnabura, you're learning the Halach Lamaisa, you're learning the magnificent work that the Mishnabur gave us, that uh, it's hard to imagine what life would be out like without a Mishnabur. You know, I dare say that the Mishnabur, in my opinion, is the most significant safer that, that's been written in the last hundred years. And if you want to argue with me, okay, fine. But it's certainly in the top three. And that's Mishnabur opened it up, or for us. No other chilek of Shulchan Aruch has a Mishnabur. And that's why it's the other halakim are harder to learn. The Mishnah Burah makes life and, and learning much, much easier. 
Let's take advantage of this great matana and continue mit Hashem learning the uh, the Mishnah Bur on a daily basis. Mit Hashem, in seven years or so, will be able to be Messiah with the words of the Ramah at the end of Shulchan Aruch Harachayim and the end of Hilchas Megillah with Leiv Taiv Tamid Mishnah. Goodbye.